the all NBA teams. Let's do it. All right. So for your first team, you've got Luka, SGA, Giannis, Tatum, Jokic. Uh, your all right, second let's, so team. So let's start. Okay. No, no, no. Don't do that. Let's just. So let's just start there, and go from go from there. So Luka, SGA. Giannis Tatum Jokic to me that is incredibly easy everyone is going to have Luka SGA and Jokic and then Giannis Tatum and Brunson are going to be the three guys for two spots but the Celtics were a 60 plus win utter juggernaut and because of that in my opinion they have to have two, at least they have to have someone on first team all NBA. So I kind of split the baby to be fair and put Tatum first team all NBA and put Brunson second team all NBA with Brunson getting the fifth MVP spot. All right. Now to second team where I have Brunson and Edwards as my guards. And I know that it can be positionless. But I, I wanted to, at least for the first and second team, stick with two guards, two forwards, and a center. Brunson and Edwards are my guards. LeBron and Durant are my forwards. And Anthony Davis is my center. Anthony Edwards, I think it speaks for himself. They were in contention for the one seed. He had some of the moments of the year. His numbers are unbelievable. And he more than kept them afloat without Carl Anthony Towns. We already have talked about Brunson. Anthony Davis, my defensive player of the year, his offensive numbers are great. So it's really about LeBron, Durant, and Kawhi. Two of those three guys to get the final forward spot, or the final two forward spots. And I think it is crazy how many people have LeBron third team. I understand the case for Durant. I don't understand the case for Kawhi. I don't know what Kawhi was better at this year than LeBron consistently. So regular numbers or metrics. But so not really, though. I mean, so the the team, the the team's overall record, the, the, the Clippers won three more games than the Lakers did, but Kawhi also missed four more games than LeBron did. One of LeBron's wins, the in-season tournament win, doesn't count for some reason. It's not, it's a game that happened, (laughs) but it's not in the standings. Um, So if we look at it, Durant played 75 games, LeBron 71, Kawhi 68. So Durant wins that category. Points a game. Durant, 27 a game. LeBron, 26. Kawhi, 24. Durant wins that category. Rebounds. LeBron has per game. LeBron wins. Assists. LeBron kills them. Field goal percentage. LeBron beats them both. Effective field goal percentage. LeBron beats them both. True shooting percentage. LeBron beats them both. You want to go to the advanced stats. Box score plus minus, LeBron plus beats my, them both. Yeah. Vorp, LeBron beats them both. PER, LeBron beats them both. They all three have identical. Did you say Vorp? Yeah, value Offensive over replacement rebound. player. But, no, no, no. Oh, okay. That's just that's a new one I uh, just learned. So, um, so for all those things, so I, I actually some people, and by the way, as far as defensive rating. They are all tied identically at 114. That's the one category where Kawhi actually, and that's kind of team-based as well, who you're on the court with, where Kawhi, so LeBron, I'm sure, benefits from having Anthony Davis on the court. I understand that. Offensive rating, that's where Kawhi actually shines the most. His is 124, LeBron 120, Durant 118. Um, But defensive box plus minus. LeBron beats them both. I don't know that that passes the eye test, but that's what it is. Win shares. Kawhi's at 8.9. LeBron's at 8.5. Durant's at 8.3. So I just think LeBron had a better season than Kawhi Leonard. And I don't know the argument against it. And you can say that 
Anthony Davis is better than Paul than Paul George, sure, but the rest of the Clippers roster is far better than the rest of the Lakers roster. So I think LeBron should be second team All NBA. And what I actually think has happened here is there was some concern that oh LeBron even if he has a bad year because he's LeBron and because he's old is going to get graded on a curve. I actually think he was graded down. I think because he's in year 21 and he's the oldest guy in the league, like, people have just assigned him. <laughs> what? What'd you say? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I was saying we don't need to give you more awards, but go ahead. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and they, and it was like, well, last year LeBron was a fringe all NBA guy. This year it'll be worse, but he's better than he was last year. He's not hurt. He played more games. He's having the best three point shooting year of his career. He's better than Kawhi Leonard. He's just flatly better than Kawhi Leonard. Go ahead. Right. So, but so with that said, LeBron and AD both making the second team and then being in the eighth seed is kind of crazy, right? And you've got Brown in in your toughest omissions. And he's so, like, what's? So uh, let me explain that, and I'll get to the third team in a moment. I don't have a problem with that because this Lakers team, once Darvin Ham stopped being a dope. And, you know, first 50 games of the year, they're starting their worst lineup, and Torian Prince is prominently involved. Since then, they've been one of the best teams in the league. They've they've won 18 of their last 24. Since the 24 and 25 start, they've been outstanding. And I just think they've been two of the best 10 players in the league. So people can parse it. That's fine. I think they've been two of the best 10 players in the league. Third team, Steph. Booker, Kawhi, and Paul George were the easiest ones. And then the final spot came down between these following people. De'Aaron Fox, Jalen Brown, Tyrese Halliburton, Paolo Boncaro, Wimby, Gobert, DeMontis Sabonis, and Zion. There's nine guys for one spot. I went with Fox. And I know some Kings fans will say Sabonis is more deserving than Fox. Maybe I'm holding Sabonis' playoff stuff against him. Halliburton was not the same guy post-injury. And I understand the argument. The Celtics won 64 games. They should have two guys on there. I just thought Fox had a better season than Jalen Brown. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show. And make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.